Okay, we're back. Sorry. Welcome, everybody. This is a brand new game, brand new series comes out today, I guess. I'll probably release this video tomorrow. And yeah, it's called Doodle Date. Make sure you check it out. And the reason why, Joe, is because it's the last thing to do for that mod. Once I finish that mod, I'll move on to something else. That's why. You pick the hard things, you get everything automated, and then you can do whatever you want. I enjoy existing. To demonstrate, I have brought you one of our blank pages. What? Bring me back to the real world this instant. This is a real world, silly. Anyway, let's loosen up those wrist muscles, huh? <laughs> what, we're gonna start fapping right here? I don't know. Start by drawing something simple, like your favorite fruit. Go ahead, try it. Draw your favorite fruit. Okay, I'm gonna draw a cat. Okay, I can't draw a kitty. Okay, so what should we draw? Let's draw um like this. Okay, and then from here, we go like that, and then we go up like that, and like that. Perfect. Wow, that looks delicious. Yeah, it's a penis. No, I said I was drawing a cat. Yeah, you love my banana, don't you? You sure know how to draw. Damn right I do. Not very lively, though, is it? Nope. Why don't we try creating a person we can talk to? Make sure it's a cute one. You never know if a drawing might have a thing for their creator. Oh, okay. Not that I'm implying anything. Alright. My relationship with you is strictly professional. Anyway, go ahead. Draw yourself up a dream date. Alright, so she's gonna have a peanut-shaped head. Okay, and then have a little tiny neck, and then little shoulders with tiny little arms, like so, and like that, and then we go like that, and then another little tiny arm there, over to there, and some big old titties, like that. Uh, I don't, I don't want lines in my boobies. Nice. And then she's gonna have a big old ghetto booty, right? And then t little legs with bell-bottom pants. And then her little tiny feet, like that. Sweet, and little hand. There. And she's gonna be shy. And we'll give her like a surprise look. You think you can do better, Joe? Yeah, Nikki Minaj, she freaky sees it. Freaky sees my vision. There, nice little wavy hair all over the place. So cute. She's adorable. Let's make her naked. And a little bush. There. Draw your dean. Oh, I have to draw her sad now? Okay. Um, little peanut head. Oh, wait. That's angry. It's a blow up doll. You're damn right. That's my ideal date. She never talks back. Okay, so she's sad now. There, like that. So sad. And she's drooling. There. Like that. Like that. Okay. Like that. Like that. And a big badonkadonk. And her little pants. Oh, and her feet. Okay. 
have to squeeze those in there in her hands. Nice. And her hands. And her beautiful hair. As you can tell, my standards from being on YouTube have completely uh, lowered. Okay, and get rid of the lines in her boobies. And of course, she's still naked. There. Draw your dream date shy. Uh oh. Um. Hmm. There. That's a nice little shy look, right? There. Badunk a dunk. There. And her little feet. There. Uh, to go bit is. Oh, I gotta get rid of the lines. There. And there. Perfect. And again, she's naked. Sultry. Um. I'm going to give her this, like, death look. She's just going to open her mouth. That's her being sultry with her tongue hanging out. Uh, how would you do that? Be like a raised eyebrow. <laughs> she looks scary. Okay. Uh-huh. Like that. Oh, oh, oh they're getting droopy. Uh, but dunk a dunk And her pant legs. Uh-huh. And her Feet. Oh, they got feet got bigger. And her hands. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Oh, wait, her hair. Uh, her hair is just going to be all messy because she's like ready for sex. Like she just had it. There we go. What's going on, Tumblr? My dream date, angry. Alright, so pissed off. There. Oh, don't forget her sexy little hair. She's so angry, she hasn't even fixed her hair. Uh huh. Boobies are getting bigger. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There. Uh, there. Oh, she really lets herself go when she's angry. There. And she's still naked. Perfect. There we go. Oh, creator, that's simply stunning. So like you, it's scary. <laughs> All right. Well, my pencil wasn't thin enough to draw it as sexy as her. Well, what are you waiting for? I'll let you two get to know each other a little better. <laughs> hey, baby. How you doing? Um, hi. You might want to put some clothes on for meeting me for the first time. Just saying. Thanks for making me. No problem. I brought you into this world. I can take you out of it. You're welcome. I didn't have much choice. Do you know how I can leave this place? Oh, she's so sad and she's drooling on herself. You want to leave so soon after making Oh, you hate me. Well, a little bit. Of course not. I don't hate you at all. I just need to get back to my own world. I don't even know how I got here. I see. Well, I'm sure you just have tons of dates lined up in the real world, don't you? I mean... No, I don't see how that's relevant to the topic. Because if you stay, you might have one date lined up right now. What? I, I, I couldn't believe it. My drawing wanted to date me. 
I never been with someone so beautiful before. <laughs> hey, eyes up here. <laughs> well, kind of staring at that wild bush you got going on there. So what will it be, Big Shot? Um, kind of want, wish I drew her a little bit better, but let's just stick with it. I mean, I suppose I could stay here a bit longer, especially if it means you and I could, you know. <laughs> yes. Hang out? <laughs> She's letting it all hang out. Just say it, you weirdo. Date? Bingo. Yes, I'd love to go on a date. So how does dating work in this world exactly? Here, let me show you. Well, I think we've already made it to the third base, so... Yeah. Let's see what happens now. Here we are. Um, where are we exactly? Out to a fancy restaurant, of course. I want our first date to be classy. Really? It looks exactly like where we were before. Just a blank page. <laughs> it's because you haven't drawn anything, silly. Use your imagination. Now go on. Draw us up a waiter. Alright, let's see. This guy, oops. He's gonna be, um... He'll be like the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's make it like the guy from, um, Popeye. Okay, we'll do like this. And then he had that. And like that. Alright. What the hell is this? Oh, it's a new page, I bet you. And then from here. And he's gonna have three fingers. He looks like a snowman. Um, and then like that. And then he'll have like, <laughs> and let's give him some buttons. And then he'll have the uh, big baggy pants there, and his little pecker hanging out down there. And then he's got his little uh, shoes hanging out there. Nice. He done. Uh, yeah, I think Stanley was. Stanley was the the guy who goes, I'd gladly uh, pay you for a burger. I'd gladly eat a burger today and pay for a Tuesday or whatever the hell I used to say. Well, hello there, good looking. What can I get for you? Good looking? I said, draw some waiter, not a flirt. You just can't help but draw beautiful people who like you, huh? What? No, I didn't mean to, I swear. Uh-huh, sure. Just like you didn't mean to make me gorgeous. Go on and tell our accidentally remarkably attractive waiter exactly what it is they can get for you. A big bag of dick. We would like a moment alone. We need a moment, I think. Alone. As you wish. Call me any time. Everything okay? You know I don't control the personalities of my creations, right? I don't even know how this works. I just draw things. Yeah, I guess I'm just on edge since this is my first date, my first living experience, and I wanted it to be special between you and me, my creator. What did you see in me anyway? Um, two big titties and a fine looking bush? I mean, you did just come into being quite, come into being quite recently. Why did you want to jump into dating me so suddenly? I, I don't know. I just felt so strongly about you after being created. I feel like we have a special connection. Like you put your love into making me. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> it's too easy. But seeing how the waiter behaved, I'm not sure. Maybe this is just something all drawings feel towards their creators. Well, maybe we just take it one step at a time. We just see if something special really is there. Yeah, yeah, I think I'd like that. We talked throughout the evening about whatever we could. Small talk about the non-existent weather, favorite foods, etc. It wasn't much, but I could tell we were starting to bond. Ah! Finally, the night came to an end, and we parted ways. I drew myself up a hotel suite to stay in, uh, stayed the night in, and I slept like a baby. 
in the comfiest bed I could imagine. Literally. I think I could get used to this place. Ooh. <laughs> Don't make the paper wet. Good morning, sunshine. How was your first day in Doodle World? It sucked. You weren't in my bed next to me. I can't draw worse shit. And my drawings aren't as pretty as you. Say no more. I can tell by your tired expression that it went fantastic. Uh, what time is it? How did you get in here? It's time to get up, sleepyhead. And more importantly, time for another lovely outing with your dream date. What? Why so early? Because it's never too early to spend time with the love of your life. How are you so sure? Because you created them as such, silly. I mean, I created you too, right? I can't say I'm sure what you're getting at. Moving on. I have arranged for you and your dream date to meet at Doodle Park within the hour. Draw yourself up something nice to wear and let's get going. Draw a nice clothes to wear. All right, so we're gonna do nice classic uh, there, there, oh, there, like that. Okay, uh, there, and then uh, how about some nice shorts? Uh, let's make them striped and then we'll put a little thing right there that's my fly and should I put some socks on sure let's put my feet sideways nice best clothes in the world Wow <laughs> it's a bulls jersey no those look like shit well <laughs> go fuck yourself yeah you're definitely not wearing those tell you what just keep what you're wearing already fashion isn't fashion isn't your strongest suit and would you look at the time we've only got 45 minutes to get you to your date <laughs> let's get a move on Here we are, have fun you two. And it looks like the park is another blank page. Suppose I shouldn't be too surprised. Hey there, somebody woke me up on the wrong side of the bed. No, oh, no, no, sorry. Still getting used to everything being a blank slate here. I actually haven't slept better in years. I, uh, I had fun with you last night. Oh, she doesn't have any hair. <laughs> yeah, me too. So what do you want to do? Uh, let's go on a walk. I suppose we could go on a walk, view the uh, natural beauty of this place. That sounds nice. We walked in silence for a long while, aimlessly stepping through pages, occasionally admiring stray flying scribbles that whizzed overhead. Finally, I broke the tension. So, what cup size are you? Oh, sorry, what sort of things have you been doing lately? I mean, I know you're a recent drawing, but do you have any hobbies? Anything you like, dislike? Well, since last night, I decided to simply explore. I find I like walking along the lines of the paper, and for some reason, I've been craving fruit ever since my inception. More than anything, I just couldn't stop thinking about you. Do you think something is wrong with me? Is my existence just to exhibit some fantasy of yours, and thus hollow to begin with? That's, um, that's heavy. <laughs> She does look like bird shit on a page. On the other hand, you're really cute. Sketchy reached out to hold my hand. They smiled at me as they clasped down. Do you... Do you think I'm cute? You're more than cute. I think you're far more than cute. I think you're beautiful. Gorgeous, even. You are by far the most amazing person I've ever laid eyes on. Stretchy was silent as they looked at me in a way I'd never seen before. 
Suddenly, before I could react, Sketchy had grabbed my balls and pressed their graphite mouth against them. Wait, what? No. Grabbed me and pressed their graphite mouth against mine. Smooch. <laughs> nice. Sketchy passionately kissed me and engulfed me with a sensual energy. I was taken aback and instinctively held their body against mine. Finally, the kiss was laid to rest after what felt like a blissful eternity. I only wish it could have lasted forever. Ahem. <clears throat> Me. <laughs> I got a boner. <laughs> I better get going. Oh, uh, what's the rush? This all feels like it's moving so fast. I think I just need to, need to lie down for a bit. Oh, I see. Don't feel bad. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. I'll believe you. Hopefully more than that. Sketchy let go of my hand and walked away. I could still feel their phantom kiss, which kept my spirit up as I made my way back to my apartment. I thought it was a hotel. Big boner. And a big sack. Freshly shaved with a little bit of stubble. I think I'm really starting to like this place. I bet you are. I want to bang my first drawing, because apparently I wasn't drunk or stoned when I drew it. I just arrived back to my apartment, when suddenly I heard a familiar voice come from my bedroom. Hello again! <laughs> Holy shit, you scared me half to death. Why are you in my bedroom? She asked you how your date went, of course. It's Claire! <laughs> it went... Great, Ashley. Why are you so invested? I uh, just want to see you happy is all. I'm very interested in knowing if you're getting the love you deserve, creator. Claire, be honest with me. Do you... Do you have feelings for me? <gasps> what? No, no, of course not. I'm just simply interested in your well-being, creator. I want to find your true love. And your true love is obviously your dream date, Sketchy. <laughs> she looks sketchy, all right. After all, you drew them that way. You do love sketchy people, <laughs> don't you? But what if I love you? I mean, what if my true love is you, Claire? After all, you're the one who brought me here, and I don't know. Things with Sketchy aren't set in stone. We're still fingering each other out. <laughs> Ooh, unturned. That's crazy talk, creator. It, it, is it so crazy, Claire? After all, you do keep showing up in my room. Don't you feel the same way? I, I, all the hell with it. Claire suddenly threw herself upon me, kissing me passionately for a brief moment before pulling herself away. Oh, why? I, I shouldn't have done that. No, Claire, you should have. <laughs> That's right, Freaky. Threesome! Uh, the other one can just hold the camera, though. Well, <laughs> in that case, I'm yours. I started to sweat as Claire laid down on my bed. So go ahead. Draw me like one of your French girls, as they say. <laughs> Draw sexy Claire. Okay. Sexy Claire is done. Bomb chicka bear wow. Like I said, Joe, I've always got a backup plan, man. I had a feeling something wasn't gonna go right with uh, Minecraft, so I had backups planned already, so. I stood back and looked at Claire's newfound body. I shuddered and dropped a, sw a drop of sweat dripped down my forehead. Mm-mm, titties. It was so hot. I jumped into bed with Claire and we began to touch one another's bodies in ways I had never experienced before. Oh, you were talking to Tumblr. Oh, okay. Well, you should have said, hey, Tumblr. My hands, my hips, my body, my neck, my back. My pussy and my crack. 
<laughs> All shared with Claire's interchanging, intermingling, and then we tore because we're just paper. It was both thrilling and terrifying, but throughout the night, our explorations continued. Was I doing the right thing? I had no idea, but I didn't care. I don't remember when we fell asleep, but eventually I woke up the next morning to the sound of Claire's voice. Awesome music, too. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning. What time is it? You sure ask that a lot. It's worth noting there is no real scale for time here. The night and day we've experienced is entirely a construct you brought with you when you arrived. But according to your construct, it's new. Huh? So if there's no time here, I guess I'm not missing anything in the outside world, huh? I could stay here living forever? Oh no, not at all. Your body will still age in your world, even faster in fact. Wait, what? Oh, before I forget, I made you breakfast. <laughs> yeah, mom's gonna open up that sketchbook and be like, why are all the pages stuck together? Claire presented to me a large plate of doodled eggs, sausages, bacon, and waffles. The aroma was intoxicating. Oh, baby, can't wait to give you my sausage. That smells heavenly. Thank you. Anything for you, my love. Suddenly, a knock on the door. I knew this was coming. Oh, shit, it's sketchy, and she's here to fight. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll let you get that. <laughs> I opened the door to find a familiar face. Hey. Hey. So, uh, I was wondering what you wanted to do today. I could feel a pit in my stomach. I knew I had to tell Sketchy the truth. I couldn't leave them on any longer and in good conscience. About that, I, um, I don't think we can go out anymore. Oh, I see. What happened? Didn't you enjoy your time together yesterday? Was it something I did? <laughs> no, no, not at all. It's, uh, it's me. <laughs> what? What about you? I, I just think I, I might have feelings for someone is all. You think? Well, that's interesting because based on our kiss yesterday, I would think you had feelings for me. <laughs> it's it's complicated is all isn't it always meh <laughs> so that's it then you're showing me to the wayside someone else catches your attention and we're just done uh, that's not a real harsh way of friending it I mean I was thinking we could still be friends yeah don't feed me that shit I wasn't born yesterday. I mean, I was born the day before yesterday, but that's besides the point. <laughs> Enjoy your new life, or at least until you get bored and draw someone else up and tend to your needs. Asshole. <laughs> uh, wait, wait, please, don't go. Oh, no. Sketchy slammed the door in my face. Yay, let's go back to Bang and Claire. Boy, that was rough. You okay? Yeah, I think so. I suppose it's never been an easy process. That's the first time I've ever had to break up with anyone. Next time she comes, I'm just going to erase her. Well, with any luck, it will be the last hat. So, shall we eat each other out? Definitely. Let's do it, Claire. Days went by, and Claire and I never left the apartment. Anything we wanted was at the palm of our hands. <laughs> yeah, I bet it was. As days became weeks, the passion and connection between us was never let up. I realized it was to feel it. I feel I realized what it was to feel at home with someone, especially someone you have frequent sex with. That's a plus <laughs> instead of my hands. <laughs> but as the weeks became months, something strange started to happen. She got fat, and she's pregnant. I bet you. I have a paper baby. Hey, darling, can I ask you something? Sure, what about? Do I, uh, do I look different to you? Uh, I don't think so. I don't notice anything different. Yeah, neither do I. On the outside, anyway. What do you mean? Well, 
I took Dr. Doodle's I took Dr. Doodle's dapper dawdler test and it came up positive. Oh, uh, come again? Yeah, <laughs> that's what you did last night, and that's why you're in this predicament. I'm pregnant. Oh, oh, I see. I didn't want to tell you until I was sure. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I understand. I guess I didn't realize that was possible. I mean, we were not exactly biologically similar. The rules are complicated, but it can happen. And it did. But I mean, you're a drawing and I'm a human, so what does that mean? Oh no, half human, half paper, baby. I don't know. Look, I'm sorry, I'm just a little stressed out about the whole situation. I mean, I never said I, I had a problem with it. I always, always wanted to be a dad. I just didn't think it would happen so soon. I know. It wasn't supposed to happen this way. I should never have come into you like that. I think it's the other way around. I can't... Oh, on to you. Sorry, never mind. This was all a big mistake. Look, this is a shock. But I'm kind of excited. Happy, even. I love you, Claire. And even if there is anyone I'd be okay having a child with, it would be you. Ah, that's sweet. But, frankly, my name's not Frank, bitch. Who the hell's Frank? Maybe he's the one that has the baby with you, huh? Nothing like this has ever happened before. There's no telling how this kid could come out, or even in what form. It may be lost on you, but the ramifications of a doodle-mortal hybrid are too steep to take lightly. Mortal. Er, sorry, human, I mean. Don't worry about it. I mean, the possibilities are endless, but they're all equally terrifying. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe if we could predict. That's it. We don't have to wait to find out. You can draw it. Wait, what? Draw our baby? How will that help? I don't even know what they would what they would look like. You understand, your imagination is what got me pregnant in the first place. I'm not sure I'm following. Point is, we can find out what our baby will be through your mind. We need for you to draw our baby. Don't think, just draw. If you do that, we'll know what we're getting ourselves into and then can decide from there whether we can have the child. Whoa, that's a lot of pressure to put on this drawing. Can we talk about this first? Shut up! I don't have time to explain the mechanics of our world to you because unless I draw our baby right fuck now, we could all be in danger so long as this thing is brewing inside me. Just do it! Holy shit. Draw your baby. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go with like uh, something like this. Uh-huh. 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 Oh, wait. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Baby cat devil horn eye baby thing. Looks like a donkey sucking on a lemon. Claire looks at it and goes, It's so adorable! <laughs> well, what do you think? You told me to draw our baby, so here it is. No. What? What's wrong? No, it's not possible. You drew it wrong. Yeah, that's it. You drew it wrong. I thought you said it could be wrong because of my magic. Shut up! Shut up! I'm thinking! <laughs> Would you just tell me what's wrong? Nothing is wrong! Nothing, I tell you! The only thing that's wrong is that it's 7pm contract, contract time and we haven't had dinner yet. I'll get right on that. I wasn't thinking straight. Maybe the stress of the pregnancy has just gotten to her. I decided to let her have some space. <laughs> <laughs> Roger from American Dad? It's kind of half of what I got. Okay, well, while you make dinner, I think I'm going to go and hang out in bed. I'll meet you there, okay? Sounds good, Sugar Plum. I'll bring you our dinner once it's ready. It's going to be our baby cooked on a plate. 
Hours passed and Claire was still working away in the kitchen. I was starting to worry. Should I go talk to her? Comfort her, perhaps? But before I could get up, I heard Claire's footsteps approaching. Oh, darling. Oh, shit. She's going to kill us. Dinner's ready. I made your favorite. Oh, no. Is it Claire on a plate? Fruit, that is. Oh, now. Time to shove it down your goddamn throat. <laughs> It was then I saw what was in Claire's hand. She had a knife. Shit, shit, shit. I nearly moved out of the way as she lunged and started stabbing at, the, at my spot in the bed. I'm sorry, darling. This is the only way. We've committed a crime against nature, and this is the only solution. I had to think fast. Find something to defend myself, or better yet, draw something to defend myself. A fucking brick. Brick. Cool. Got a fucking brick. No. Oh, hit her with a brick right in the stomach. How c c could you? <laughs> I feel so cold. As she passed out on the floor, I grabbed her and began weeping. I tried everything I could to save her that night, but no amount of drawn paramedics or medical supplies seemed to help. She seemed almost determined to die. Eh, it's okay. Let's just go back and get sketchy. I never did figure out how to leave this place. As no other doodle was knowledgeable about the rules of this place, there was no one left to send me back. I had accepted my fate and simply decided to live out the rest of my life in isolation. No one could replace Claire, and I was damn near terrified to try. I don't know what she was so afraid of, but I didn't want to give myself an opportunity to find out. Until one day... Knock, knock, knock. Anybody home? It's sketchy! I didn't recognize that voice, but it sounded oddly familiar. I caved into my curiosity and opened the door. Holy fuckballs! Hello, father! <laughs> I couldn't believe my eyes. It was our baby. My eyes welled up as I immediately embraced my long-lost child. Is it... Is it really you, I thought? I thought you... Yes, father, it's me. Although my mother died before giving birth, Dr. Doodle was able to rescue me before it was too late. They thought it would be best if they didn't say anything, given what you had gone through. I... I... I can't believe it. It's okay, Father. I'm here now. <laughs> As I held my child in my arms, I suddenly felt a sharp pain in my back. <laughs> Shh. Easy now. I'm here. I'm here. In horror, I looked behind me to see my child had plunged my own makeshift weapon into my backside. This is for my mother, you son of a bitch. W w why? Why indeed? Goodbye, father. Oh, <laughs> you son of a bitch. As I collapsed on the floor, darkness came over me. With what little vision I had left, the last thing I saw was my child lifting a pencil out of my pocket. And then silence. Nothing more but silence and darkness. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. That was absolutely freaking awesome. <laughs> You could really have some fun with this. It was a nice little short story, man. I like that. I really do like that. It was really, really cute. <laughs> Stupid ass alien baby coming back to kill me. What the hell, man? <laughs> but see, if you were really a good artist, you could take your time with this and actually, you know, do something really good or you do it my way. Or you could do it with like inanimate objects make your girlfriend um i don't know coat rack 
<laughs> That'd be awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of going to get everybody a little bit sketchy about, Hey, Mom, Dad, can I use the crayons? No, 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 no. Um, just go outside and play with the guns. Do whatever you want. Just don't touch the crayons, please. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do, uh, everybody on Twitch, hang out for a second. Everybody on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.